ringside, ready to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. Oh, we are ready to go. The Moon Dogs and Richard Lee here today on USWA Wrestling. Get ready for the Moon Dogs. The fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett, will be here today. We got Brian Christopher scheduled for a match here today as well. And also, Bert Friend is to have that crazy vampire warrior around here. Big lineup as usual for another day of action, Dave. You are exactly right, and the Moon Dogs won't take long for them to show up, I bet. Uh, we'll be back with USWA action in a moment. Aloha from Rentronics. America's home for rent to own celebrates Hawaiian Days. Get an RCA TV VCR combo just $19.99 a week. Catch a wave, a sound wave that is, with a Pioneer stereo for $25.99 a week. Here's a hot deal that'll make the big kahuna happy. An RCA 35-inch TV with direct view for a clearer big kahuna picture. Just $51.99 a week. So pick up a great deal during Hawaiian Days at Rentronics. America's home for rent to own. Turner Buttermilk really pours on the flavor. Thick, tangy, and refreshing, it's great right from the glass. And Turner Buttermilk is the secret to great-tasting recipes, too. It makes everything taste better. Want to add wholesome richness to your desserts? It's a piece of cake with Turner Buttermilk. How about mouth-watering biscuits or fluffy buttermilk pancakes? Nothing stacks up to Turner. It's the better-tasting buttermilk. Better pick some up now. Look for it in the light-safe yellow jug with the green cap at your favorite store. Turner Quality Check Buttermilk. What could be better? Uh, hello, I'm looking for a tail light for an 81 T-Bird. Uh, you wouldn't know if you had one in stock. Sure, when do you need it? I was wondering if you had a bucket seat for a 1980 Capri. Sure do. I can see it from here. Could you help me find a fender for a 1981 Ford truck? Yeah, I'll get right on it. Levy Auto Parts offers a complete line of motor parts, and Levy's continues its fantastic $10 special on a wide variety of used parts. Levy Auto Parts with two convenient locations, 1720 North Thomas and 1336 North Second. Hi, I'm Merle Purvis. You know, the Mid-South is made up of hundreds of different communities, each with something special to offer. Last summer, WMC-TV5 traveled down Highway 5 to meet our neighbors and share their stories with the rest of the Mid-South. It was so successful, we're doing it again. Beginning August 30th, for five days, Action News 5 and Wake Up Call will come to you live from a different town each day. So we hope you'll join us as we head down Highway 5. Well, it's coming up. It's coming up Monday night, too, at the Mid-South Coliseum. A perfect night of wrestling. That's right, a perfect night. Mr. Perfect. Last time he was at the Mid-South Coliseum, some time ago, he was going against the king, Jerry Lawler, and what a night it was, too. The AWA heavyweight title was on the line, and take a look at what happened that night. And he is just blasting him unmercifully, unmercifully on that eye. And the referee keeps checking it, but Lawler stops Fargo from... a long way from through. This guy with this amazing ability to come back. The King, Jerry Lawler, shoots him on a catapult into the turnbuckle. Henning is down. The crowd wants Lawler to come over and cover up. He covers. One, two. He got it. A new world heavyweight champion, Jerry Lawler, in 24. Now you got the intruders. I hear the whistle blowing. I see Richard Lee. I see the USWA World Tag Team titles. And most of all, I see those guys right there. The Moon going to try to keep this one under control. That's going to be difficult. <laughs> when, you, yeah. when you see the garbage cans and the, that's not a two by four. What is that? A one by ten or something like that that one of those moon dogs has in his hand. And you know the moon dog 
Cubs are ready. Boy, they got the crowd behind them, too. Intruders not too anxious to climb into that ring, and I got to tell you, I don't blame them. But they are booked to go against the Moon Dogs here today. One fall, 15 minute time limit match coming up. Moon Dogs come down on the floor after them. The intruders decide maybe in the ring is the safest place to be if the Moon Dogs are down on the floor. Yeah, the intruders started to take off on that 100 yard dash I was talking about. But the Moon Dogs caught up with them. Richard Lee with the whistle and Cujo and Spike go after the intruders. Well, we got the garbage can and the uh, big boards out of there. Richard Lee hanging around. Boom. His old chair over there at ringside. Moondogs. USWA World Tag Team Champions are the Moondogs with Richard Lee. Cujo just left now. One of the intruders comes off the road. Big flash on him. He's got him covered. Two and picks him up at two. Yeah, he didn't get the three count quite. The Moondogs, holders of those tag titles for almost a year at one point. Yeah. And yet, as they win them back, a lot of folks thought it was a bit of an upset when they came in to take the belts this time around. Not everyone, but some folks did. But they have them. They're the tag team champions. Yeah, and boy, they've planned to hold on to them a long time. According to Richard Lee, he says that, boy, he has got the moon dogs ready, says Lee. And they come in ready today, going after the intruders. Well, that metal chair breaks him down to the mat. The moon dogs. W.A. Oh, boy! Mike Prentice and uh, two guys come out here with a big net. The wall. What are they doing? Yeah, big net in here. Yeah, they're, uh, they've got net thrown over the moon dog. Prentice is grabbing the trash can and the board. And the moon dogs are underneath the net. Richard Lee in to try to help him out. He's nailed in the top of the head by one of these guys. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh man, one of those guys grabs that ball to the moon dog carrot and just clobbered him right across the head with it. He's got the trash can. Comes down on him with that. For the moon dogs and Richard Lee out here minding their own business is what they were doing, Dave, having their mind against the intruders. And all of a sudden, here comes Bert Prentice with a couple of guys and this net and all jumping on the moon dog. Through the nets over the top of the moon dogs and that slowed them down and these guys and Bert Prentice are now in control of the ring. Richard Lee has been thrown down on the floor. Look how Prentice has got that big folding metal chair. Yeah, Prentice gets his two cents in it. As they continue jumping on the moon dogs, gotta get some help by the moon dogs out here. Hey, here comes some help here. Yep. Help is on the way. Looks like Kip Mars comes running out. He can't get in there, though. Prentice uh, keeps him out. He's trying to grab one of them's feet to pull him back, and Bert Prentice keeps hammering it in. Here comes Tony Williams to try to help out, too. Oh, Tony can't get in either. Tony steps in the ring, and he stops Tony Williams. But it wasn't much further, and these guys continue beating up on the moon dog. Oh, man, yeah, Taylor goes out. T.D. Steele is back out. Here comes some help. The fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett, comes out. Eddie Marlin's at ringside, too. And now Bert Prentice. The dog catchers, he said.
Magic Johnson is making a return to the pyramid. This time against the man many feel will bring new magic to the NBA. Former Memphis State star Anthony Petty Hardaway leads a team of other top draft picks against a team of former pros in the Magic Petty Benefit. Saturday night at 7.30 in the pyramid. Tickets are only $15 and $10 and available at the pyramid box office. All Ticketmaster outlets are charged by phone at 525-1550. See the pros of the past, present, and future in the Magic Petty Benefit Saturday night at the pyramid. It's the rumble for the recipe. You and me, Beeler. Winner gets the Colonel's secret. Beeler distracts Foreman with KFC's legendary freshly baked biscuits, new mashed potatoes, and the Colonel's famous coleslaw. The KFC quarter has a real advantage here with the KFC $2.99 three-piece meal. Three pieces of chicken, individual mashed potatoes with gravy, coleslaw, and a biscuit. It's an unstoppable offer. The $2.99 KFC three-piece meal gets a winner. I want these recipes, too. The choice is yours at Fleming's 47th anniversary of savings. Choose from three great international sofas, high and styling and quality for just $4.99. Take your pick of three contemporary dinettes for just $3.88. Choose any chair you see here, wing chairs, rockers, club chairs, $1.49. Choose shaker pine or traditional cherry bedrooms for $9.99. Then add immediate delivery, no payments of January, and happiness guaranteed. Yes, the choice is yours. The choice is easy. The choice is Fleming's. Almost 50 years old, but a whole new store for the 90s. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper-to-bumper -bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and depth repair, Dennis Hall's guaranteed the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Chris. Real deal coffee for the best prices in town. Come on down. Hey, it's coming up Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Not just a night of wrestling, not just a night of USWA wrestling, which is usually most exciting. It's a perfect night of wrestling at the Mid-South Coliseum. Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, coming back to town. Last time he was here, at least in that match uh, we saw the highlights of a few moments ago, didn't go too well for Mr. Perfect. Here's what he has to say about a perfect night of wrestling. Jerry the King Lawler, what an opportunity for Mr. Perfect. You come to the World Wrestling Federation, you still won't give me the match anywhere but in Memphis. You know why? Because that's where you got the stroke. Let's go back in history. May 9th, 1988, World Championship match between Mr. Perfect and the so-called King, Jerry Lawler. Well, Jerry Lawler, everybody knows you had the stack deck. You had... Jackie Fargo in your corner. He was your hand-picked referee. I know it, and you know it. Another thing I got on you, Lawler, is your video. Jerry Lawler's greatest videos. Headliner is the match where you cheated and ripped off the championship belt from Mr. Perfect. And I haven't seen you since, Lawler. And this Monday night, talk about a perfect opportunity. All you got to do is scan the camera from head to toe on me, and you can see I got all the right things and all the right places. I am what I say I am, Lawler. And that goes for all you people in Memphis and the whole South, as far as I'm concerned. You see, this Minnesota boy's heading down for one reason, and that's to get you, Lawler. It's payback time. I'm sick. I'm tired of what you stand for and what you look like. And I'll tell you what, Lawler, I'm in the peak of my profession right now. Mr. Perfect has never looked better, moved better than he's doing right now. And it's very, very simple, Fowler. I'm gonna get another tape for you so you can go show the world one more time. Only this time, Jackie Fargo won't be the referee. Mr. Perfect's coming to Memphis this Monday for one reason, to regain, regain my pride and my own analogy of what I'm all about. See, I am what I say I am, whether you like it or anybody else likes it. I am perfect. And you remember this, Lawler, and all your followers. Nobody beats Mr. Perfect. Nobody. And this Monday night, bring all your fans ringside. Bring them all down. Because Mr. Perfect is not going down. I raise my hand high in the middle of that ring. And you, Lawler, are going to be perfect, Plex. And you're going to find out why they call me Mr. Perfect.
Well, it wasn't too long ago and when we had uh, Bert Prentice out here with some guys who, frankly, we didn't recognize. As he left, he says, those are my dog catchers. Well, here he comes right now with folks I do recognize, Principal C.W. Bergstrom and the A student Melvin Penrod Jr. following along behind. Ding dong, the moon dogs are dead. So I took care of that little problem. Now I'm going to take care of another little problem. This week, Melvin Penrod, you have let me down. With my guidance, you and C.W. Bergstrom became the world tag team champions. But no, Melvin Penrod lost the belts for us. You listen. Come over here. You listen to me when I talk to you. Listen to me. You have embarrassed me. You have humiliated me, and I am so ashamed of you. But I'm going to let you stay part of this family, because I know you're going to take your punishment. Bergstrom, I'll tell you what, Penrod, when you were growing up, you took your lick from your parents when you screwed up, you took your licks from your teachers, and now you're going to take some licks from your principal. Mr. Bergstrom, I've been thinking about this all week long. I don't think I deserve a whipping for it. I wasn't the one getting pinned in the ring. You caused him to be pinned in the ring, and it's not up to you what you think, because you don't think here. I do the thinking. Give him 30 licks. Hey, look at me, Melvin. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You screwed up. You can either take your licks on your big fat butt, or run between the eyes. How do you want it? I'm not going to take a whipping from you anymore. I didn't do anything wrong. Who do you think you are? Uh, whoa. Oh, oh, my goodness. Prentice first knocked to the deck by Melvin Penrod. And now knocked down by C.W. Bergstrom. Both of them jumping up and down on Melvin. Me oh, oh. Melvin's got his hands on that big old board, and he comes back after C.W. Bergstrom. Oh, boy. Penrod fighting back in there. And there goes the principal. And it, don't hide behind me, Prentice. And Melvin Penrod Jr. looking for Bert Prentice. There he goes. And there's Melvin right behind him. Oh, Penrod going up to Prentice. And, yeah, he's out of there, but they're still going. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, that could be an interesting situation. The Big Slam Bottle, a mighty mega slam of ice cold Pepsi that'll beat the summer heat. Are you paying too much for your car insurance? Then you should call Mid-South Insurance Office. Mid-South Insurance Office cut the down payment on my car insurance in half. Mid-South saved me $40 a month on my payment. Mid-South gave me immediate coverage so I could buy a new car. Mid-South Insurance Office has been here in Memphis for over 50 years. I know they'll be here when I need them. Even if you have tickets, accidents, or a DUI, call Mid-South Insurance Office today at 276-6388. means the bugs come out in full force. If you use insecticides on your garden plants, don't spray when pets or children are around. 
And always wash fruits and vegetables before you eat them. Brought to you by WMC TV5. Anniversary savings store wide, like this great oak bedroom or traditional cherry bedroom, just $6.99 with no payment till January. Fleming's almost 50 years old, but a whole new store for you. Your car is one of your most valuable possessions. Trust your car only to concern and experience. At Hayes Body Shop, we care about people, so we will take good care of your car. At the Happy Hawker, you'll find all kinds of merchandise at incredible savings. If you'd like to pay reasonable prices when you buy musical instruments, cameras, TVs and VCRs, tools, even jewelry, china and antiques, or you're the kind of person who really searches for just the right gift at just the right price, then you may make a great pawn shopper. Do you need a short-term loan? We loan almost anything of value. So come to the Happy Hawker at either of our two convenient locations, 975 East Parkway South across from Liberty Land, or visit the Happy Hawker at 196 South Cooper near Union. Well, you heard from Mr. Perfect about a perfect night of wrestling coming up at the Mid-South Coliseum. Mr. Perfect says things are going to be different this time around, different from the time that the King, Jerry Lawler, had his hand raised in victory, the final victory and the quest to become the world champion. Well, it was a final victory in winning the belt. Keeping the belt has been uh, quite a chore against people like Mr. Perfect. But there's one guy who expects the same result on the perfect night of wrestling, only he expects it'll be a perfect night for him. I'm talking about the perfect king, Jerry Lawler. Ready. Three, two. Memphis, Tennessee, I got a very, very special guest with me this week. You know, they say birds of a feather flock together. Well, so do kings, isn't that right? Hey, I want to tell you something. I am so impressed by this beautiful Cadillac. What year Cadillac is this? This Cadillac is in 1959. I bought it for my mama as a gift. 1959. Do you know that Brett, the hitman Hart's mama, was already 70 years old when this car was made? <laughs> <laughs> what about the hitman, anyway? Well, I was there last week at the Coliseum. And King, I want to tell you, I was watching the matches from the shadows. And nothing gave me more pleasure than seeing you destroy Brett the Hitman Hart and beating him like the hound dog that he is. Because <laughs> I don't like imposters, man. I don't oh, like I know, him at all. I know all. what you mean, King. But you know what? The imposters, as you know better than anybody, just keep on coming. This Monday night, there's another imposter coming to town to try to take my crown. Mr. Perfect. Kurt Henning is coming right here to Memphis. Nothing is more perfect than royalty, man. You got it, King. And I'm going to show Mr. Perfect Monday night who the real King is. Tell you what, let's head over to the Coliseum right now. What do you say? You got it, hey, man. Come on, King. Hey, I tell you, we got plenty more action coming up right here, including a special look at the fabulous one here in just a moment. Uh, Jeff Jarrett, of course, just been introducing us to many of his friends over there. As uh, Eddie Marlin being pursued by... Bert Prentice. What is this? Right here. What? Mr. Brown, Eddie Marlin has an announcement to make. Melvin Penrod has been fired from the USWA. Dave, Melvin Penrod has not been fired. I've been there back there talking to Melvin. Melvin agrees with you. It's not room enough in the USWA for C.W. Bergstrom and Melvin Penrod. Right. So, so fire Melvin and be done with it. I'm not going to do it. You do what I tell you to do. You're going to be here long enough. And I'm going to be honest with both of you. I've added a match. No time limit. And no disqualification. The loser of the match will lose, leave the USWA. It's between C.W. Bergson and Melvin Penrod. No, you haven't. That's the you haven't authorized this with me. You're not going to do that. It's already done. You don't have to authorize it. He's a promoter. He booked the match. And the match is booked, and I'm glad to hear it, too. More about that in a moment. I was trying to tell you 
about Jeff Jarrett and some of his friends that he's been introducing us to over the last few weeks. We could sort of go he's playing hockey and, and doing a mighty good job, as a matter of fact, with the Memphis River Kings. Um, this, all I know this week is baseball. Watch. <laughs> Cardinal Stadium with a good friend of mine, Bob Sebra. And uh, by the way, before Bob, before we get talking, I want to tell the people the Cardinal Stadium is the biggest minor league stadium there is right now. And and uh, I've known Bob a long time, and he's been around the major leagues around and around and around. No, no. <laughs> Bob, uh, why don't you just tell the fans uh, all the different teams that you have played with? Well, I started with uh, Texas, and then I traded to the Expos, and then I was traded to the Phillies, and I was traded to the Reds, and I was traded to the Brewers. <laughs> And then I signed as a free agent with uh, Houston, and then with the Rangers again, and then ended up with the Cubs last year, and now I'm with the Cardinals. You bought stock in the U-Haul company, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> no. I'm pretty much on the well bandwagon. Well-traveled. Uh, no, Bob, we were talking uh, about your high school days. You're from New Jersey, is that right? That's right. Uh, where'd you play high school? Gloucester well, Catholic, New Jersey. And, and uh, this guy right here had seven no-hitters in high school. And that's that's all that's awful good record. And then uh, in 1986 or 87 was that the 87? 87. Tell tell us what was that? I can't get that stat. I'm not good on baseball. I finished stats. eighth in the National League in strikeouts in 1987, and uh, my record wasn't real good, but I had a lot of strikeouts. And a lot of strikeouts. <laughs> and then you played college ball at Nebraska. Yep. And and then from there you got drafted. How old were you when you got drafted? 21. 21. 21. And then something. Uh, Bob, uh, he just got a new haircut today, and he invited me out. And this is the only reason he brought me out here today, because he got a brand new haircut. Bob, why don't you show everybody your haircut? Brand new. It's just a little bit shorter than mine, but it looks all right. Bit. <laughs> well, Bob, looks better on me than you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate you inviting me out today, and uh, you said you're going to have a little challenge for me today. Yeah, today. you're standing in the on-deck circle, and I believe that you're on deck right now. Okay, Bob. Let's, let's see what go. you got. All right, let's see it. <laughs> Jeff, you really are fabulous. No, Bob, I've seen you in game situations. Zebra can shut out the Indians for the Redbirds here in the fifth. The slow curve, swing and a miss. Down on strike goes Troy Asner. As it flips to the pitcher, Zebra covering for the out. Go two. Tug swings, and this isn't strikes out. Well, Zebra. Went after Greg Tubbs and fans him on three pitches. Now that's fabulous. There he is, the fabulous one himself, Jeff Jarrett, headed for the ring. Jeff proving he can hit a baseball pretty well, too. Not only can he... Uh, a hockey puck that's flying at him at 100 miles an hour. Not only can he play basketball, he's a great basketball yeah, player. Oh yeah. uh, he's just an all-around athlete, and of course his specialty, right here, right in the middle of the squared circle. He steps up onto the ring apron right now, through the ropes, Mr. Clyde waiting across the way, and Jeff, a heavy, heavy favorite, going into the match here against Mr. Clyde. One fall, 15-minute time limit, what we've got. Referee T.D. Steele, waiting for Jeff to get that uh, great-looking warm-up robe. Handed out to security. Now the referee calls for the bell, and here's Corey as we get underway. Yeah, with the fans cheering on the fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett. Tangles in with Mr. Clyde. They glide up against the turnbuckle. Big lead break for Mr. Clyde, and Clyde shoves him. That shoves him out of there. Sometimes you have to do it looks like some thinking for Mr. Clyde. I don't know if he thinks for himself. Had a break from Jeff Jarrett and shoves Jeff. 
Jeff backs him up against the turnbuckle over on the other side. Another break for Glide, and he does it again. I think Mr. Glide just may be asking for it here early today. Well, Mr. Glide better pay attention to what's going on in that ring. Uh, look, he bows up the referee T.D. Still and just kind of shoves T.D. back, too. Tell who the crowd's by, and there's absolutely no doubt everybody in this room that's <laughs> in the audience well, is calling for Jeff Jarrett. Father and Mr. Glide, though, that he tried his best to get out of there quickly and found himself down on the floor. <laughs> well, the crowd was ahead of the referee. They were doing a little fast count on, uh, on Mr. Glide. Clyde did slide under the rope enough to stop the count, and the count has now started again. Yeah, referee T.D. Still is doing the counter, and then oh, Mr. Clyde said he wants a timeout. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Clyde. Good luck on getting the timeout. Kind of like in baseball. You have to play yeah. baseball a moment ago. You can call timeout all day long, but if the umpire doesn't give you timeout, you don't get it. Just the, took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> the referee is not going to give Mr. Clyde timeout, I'll tell you. Well, if you set up there on a full count, three balls and two strikes, next pitch is coming and you call a timeout. Same thing Mr. Clyde's doing. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, Jeff Jarrett backs him up against the turnbuckle, and it'll be another break for Clyde. And he's done. Fabulous one right out of the corner. And the Jarrett goes in and grabs it. Tells Mr. Clyde with a right hand. Yeah, Jeff was being kind of considerate to Mr. Clyde is what he was doing. Being awfully nice to him, giving him a clean break. But now he's going after Mr. Clyde. Touch him up. DDT Clyde. Covers him. One, two, three. And a short, quick long day from Mr. Clyde. Huh? Yeah. Jarrett with a great victory for the fabulous one here. He finally got tired of watching Mr. Clyde show off, talk to the crowd. One, two, three, it's all over. Jeff wins. It's our Super Summer Sacrifice Sale. Going on right now at your Mid-South Chevy dealer. We're clearing out our entire 1993 inventory to make room for the 94s. Check out Chevy's good-looking and long-lasting full-size truck. Known for its dependability, Chevy's full-size has the most powerful standard engine and the largest standard payload in its class. And right now is a great time to buy a tough Chevy truck with a $1,500 discount on 93 models. Shop the Super Summer Sacrifice Sale and save only at your Mid-South Chevy dealers. This family has consumed all but one slice of a medium pan pizza, widely regarded as America's favorite. Dad sees no offense in taking the last piece. Other family members see it differently. Eat and hog the last piece. And Image Pizza Hut helps you avoid by offering any large pizza for the price of a medium, with 50% more pizza to go around. Who knows, there might even be some leftovers for a perfect late night snack. Time is running out on big top brand savings during Circuit City's in-store warehouse sale. Save on video. Get this RCA 20-inch TV with remote, just $197.97. And this VCR with remote, only $144.97. Save throughout the store. Get this unit in cordless phone, a low $39.97. And this Calvinator refrigerator, only $499.97. cereal made to eat with your fingers. How wholesome am I? Read my hips. I'm low in fat and so nutritious. So bye-bye, bowl. So long, spoon. Yeah. Now, all you need to enjoy cereal anytime you want are these. Yeah. Hey, am I good or what? New Fingo is the wholesome cereal made to eat with your fingers in cinnamon and honey toasted oats. Mm. We'll have some comments about it in just a moment, but first, take a look at some highlights of the match between the Vampire Warrior and the fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett.
And boy, she takes off quickly. I'm on Bergstrom and Pinoff. Jared turns in. Oh, yeah, Lola Vachon. Oh, Lola Vachon out him. Jared jumps out and grabs Lola Vachon. But couldn't hold on to her. He's out. situation evened up when this woman right here arrived, Miss Texas. You know, I have wrestled a lot of girls, such as Luna Bashan, Dirty White Girl, and Lauren Davenport. But Luna Bashan, you different. You pretty tough. Now you walking around thinking you somebody big and bad. But Luna Bashan, Monday night, we will see. Now, when you get in the ring, you better get ready for old-fashioned butt kicking. Because Miss Texas don't back down from a fight. Oh, the fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett. You have faced this ultimate, uh, this uh, vampire warrior guy, too, huh? That's right, David. Seems like they're talking about Monday night shaping up to be a perfect night of wrestling. You're right. Mr. Perfect has some pretty harsh words to say toward the king, and I can't wait to see that match Monday night. But the mixed tag, we almost got to have our mixed tag last Monday night. And you know, Luna Bashan, Miss Texas has faced some women, but I have too. Because Sylvia, Vicious Vicky, Lauren Davenport, Dirty White Girl, they've all tried to come in here and stomp on Miss Texas's ground. Well, it's going to be a mixed tag Monday night, and Vampire Warrior, you stole the belt the way I look at it. So I'm going to get the belt back one way or the other. But Monday night, just like Miss Texas said, it's going to be an old-fashioned booty kicking and you better get ready because when jeff jarrett and miss texas hook up in a mixed tag we get the job done and that is a promise get ready for it vampire warrior luna Vachon, if they're watching that was a fabulous one jeff jarrett and miss texas are on the way speaking about the perfect night of wrestling at the mid-south coliseum oh. let's check the entire card corey coming up Opening match, Scott Taylor will be going against the Master of Terror. That's just the opener. Following that, you got the middleweight title at stake. Danny Davis will be going against J.C. Ice. And then this match that uh, Eddie Marlin was telling us about a few moments ago. I'm not even sure if we... Yeah, we do have this. All right. Uh, this is yeah. uh, the Loser Leave Town match. No time limit. No disqualification. Melvin Penrod, the A student, will be going against... That's right. Going against... Principal C.W. Bergstrom. Oh, boy. You saw what happened out here. Bergstrom blaming, and, and Bert Prentice blaming uh, Melvin for the loss of the world tag titles. Penrod said, I'm not the one that lost the title, and I'm not taking it anymore. So there is the match. Loser yeah. leaves town, no time limit, no disqualification. The principal against the A student. USWA tag team titles will be on the line then. 
Yeah, you saw the group that has them right now. You saw them arrive a few moments ago with the world tag titles in hand. Richard Lee and the Moon Dogs will be defending, but this time against that group that Burt Prentice brought in here, they threw the net over the Moon Dogs, and I got to tell you, they slowed them down, yeah, they way did. down. They caught them by surprise, though. Might be a different situation if Richard Lee and the Moon Dogs know they're coming. We'll find out Monday night. Perfect night of wrestling at the Mid South Coliseum, and this one will feature the USWA tag titles at stake. Then, feature attraction. Wolfie D going against the One Two Three Kid. Yeah, now, a lot of wrestling one, two, fans three. know about the One Two Three Kid. We'll uh, tell you more a little bit later on. Grudge match coming up. Oh boy, boy, Please get ready too. for this one. Yeah, man, oh man, let me tell you, this is worth the price of admission. Christopher and Adams, I'm sure to be another well of about coming up down there Monday. With Miss Simpson, or is it Tony Adams? Oh. Which is it? And will she be in the corner of Chris Adams, or will she be Miss Simpson in the corner of Brian Christopher? The grudge match will determine it Monday night at the Coliseum. Yeah, boy. Then you got the Vampire Warrior and oh. Luna Bashan going against the fabulous one Jeff Jarrett and Miss Texas. This time, it starts out as a mixed man's and women's match and look out Luna Bashan because as Miss Texas said she doesn't back up from anybody then the unified title will be on the line the top of the card on the perfect night of wrestling at the Mid-South Coliseum Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning will be in the Coliseum once again this time trying to take the unified belt from the King Jerry Lawler what a night what stars, what action yeah. coming up on the perfect night of wrestling, Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Make your plans right now to be right there at ringside. We'll be back with more action here very, very shortly. Stay with us. Folks, Bob Burke coming for Sunrise Pontiac GMC Trucks, 5th Annual Tent Sale. That's right, the number one volume Pontiac dealer in Tennessee and the number one GMC truck dealer in a 10 state area is offering the biggest savings of the year on more than 500 new cars and trucks and a huge selection of used cars, including all cars and trucks under $29.95. Salespeople have been told to write all offers. Managers have been instructed to slash prices to rock bottom. Free hot dogs, Cokes, and balloons for the kids. Want to save some money? Get into the tent sale going on now at Sunrise. The ugliest building on Covington Pike, Memphis. It's French Riviera Spa's 20th anniversary celebration. And for a limited time, you can join for just $13.99 a month and get a gift, a Celebration Station Family Fun Pack. Fun food and fitness for the whole family. Don't wait. Join French Riviera Spa today for just $13.99 a month and get aerobic steam sauna, state-of-the-art equipment, free weights, and indoor pool. All this and more at French Riviera Spa for just $13.99 a month. Join today. Well, I ain't no time I've got the power to do Tornadoes threaten the Mid-South. Action News 5 was there before, during, and after. InstaAlert 5 warned you minutes before the competition and even before the tornado siren sounded. And you may have seen InstaAlert just a moment ago put a tornado warning on the screen. Then Bob McClain and Storm Search 5 had the most complete coverage. Let's go to Storm Search 5 radar now. And Action News 5 at 10 had a complete wrap-up of the damage caused by the storm. Action News 5, 24 hours a day to Mid-South News Leader. Tony Williams is in the ring right now, but headed this way, his former tag team partner. It's been a while now since these two were tag team partners, and a lot has happened, let me tell you, attitude-wise and otherwise. Brian Christopher, there he is, headed for the ring. Tony Williams waits for him. T.D. Steele, the referee, has already completed the pre-match inspection with Tony Williams, and now just waiting for Brian Christopher to step into the ring, Christopher. Takes time to celebrate a little bit. 
over to say something to the fans. I'm sure he was insulting him, whatever he said as he went oh, over yeah. there. Christopher against Tony Williams. This one should be a good one right here. Yeah. Should be. Tony Williams still feeling like uh, he's got some things to prove to Brian Christopher. And what he would like to do is to keep this match just a nice scientific wrestling match. Christopher, of course, is going to be looking to win. And I think with all the implications that might have, given the history of Brian Christopher, you better look out, Tony Williams. Yeah, Christopher hands out his jacket and tells security, make sure you take good care of this jacket. Brian Christopher. Tony Williams, one ball, 15 minutes in time. Here today on USWA Championship Wrestling. And Christopher, tell you what up, man. Ah, Christopher working on that left arm of Tony Williams. Pussy we'll in the left arm and drops down with an elbow on him. Christopher pulling hair, that maniacal laugh that you hear from every now and then is Christopher in the ring. Yeah, Tony went under the swing it right from Christopher, but came back to catch a backdrop. Yeah, look at Christopher. He's loving it. Man, don't you think, no, that Brian knows how badly Tony Williams would like to pin those shoulders one, two, three in the ring? Yeah. So, Brian, I guess there's something a little extra here for him, too, in this competition. Tony Williams. Tony's in great shape, giving away quite a bit of weight to, uh, to Brian. Yeah. Weight and a little bit of size as well. Yeah. Christopher, hold it on to headlock on Tony Williams. I'm watching, Brian. I'm paying attention. Oh, Williams backs it up. Christopher, What's man? Christopher wants to make sure we don't miss a single of his fine moves. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, that was a fine move. Yeah. I got to admit it. That he reversed, clean. Tony. Good move from Christopher, and it was clean for a change. I saw that, Brian. That is two for you. And I must say, so far, it's relatively clean. I have seen some hair pulling. Yeah, he's bragging on it because he knows he doesn't do <laughs> as many, many clean moves in there at all. Don't expect it from Brian Christopher, let me tell you that. Christopher! Well, yeah, that was Tony Williams. Lock on Tony, and Tony kind of shoves him off. Christopher leaps over, comes back, and slams Tony Williams down. Body slam on Tony Williams. The celebration by Brian Christopher. He would think he'd already pinned him, but he has. Right now, what? Oh my gosh, this has got to be the easiest match I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Well, there's the word from the ever-confident Brian Christopher. Confident is not the correct word. <laughs> but I'm not sure what is. Arrogant, I guess, is uh, about as close as you get to it. Yeah. Look Tony, at Tony yeah. flip him in the ring there, Corey. Yeah, he flips him over, gets him over the top rope, and whips him in. Christopher comes off. Big butt drop from Tony Williams. Fox Christopher up and into the ropes again. Nice shot kick from Tony. Good move, and boy, Tony Williams standing up to Brian Christopher. He's not taken down. Whips Christopher into the turnbuckle. Oh, good move from Tony to get under the flying press from Brian Christopher. That slows Christopher down and whips him in again. And he comes off the rope. Came off the rope with the elbow and takes Tony down. Yeah, he got him right in the back of the neck. He hammered him down to the mat. Now Christopher back to work on him. There's some of that hair pulling. Whips Tony Williams in. Oh, Whoa. Tony, hold on. Christopher misses with the drop check, but Tony Williams catches it. And again, another drop kick from Tony. He's got Brian Christopher cover. Two, and Christopher. Oh, my Christ goodness. Put on a bottom rope. He almost had him. He had a count of two, but Brian Christopher was able to get the boot on the bottom rope. And that's got, oh, my goodness. 
There's a chain wrapped around Brian Christopher's right hand. Yeah, not only is it wrapped around his right hand, but he uses it on Tony Williams. Two, three, and gets the win. Brian Christopher pulls out the chain and covers Tony Williams with it and gets the one, two, three on Tony. Well, I want to talk to Brian Christopher, and the first thing I want to see if he'll talk about is bragging about the clean match and then go into the chain when he was in trouble he had to go to the chain to win the match and i also noticed miss simpson is not with him here today hey what i tell you huh? what an easy match huh? <laughs> i'm the best baby hey and another thing don't you and don't you worry about where Miss Simpson is. Because I'll tell you where she's at. Just to clear it for the record, Miss Simpson is right here. She's wrapped around my finger where she belongs. Excuse me for interrupting, uh, but uh, I've got some videotape, and last time she was seen, she didn't appear to be wrapped around your finger watch this right here i'm in control let's see let's see right here chris is still slowly to get up in there christopher goes over and grabs one of the chairs he's got the chair up on the top turnbuckle trying to get it in there christopher's up on top tony adams gets in the ring now hey tony adams is telling brian christopher not to do it Christopher throws the chair onto the floor after Tony Adams gets in the ring. Oh boy, I don't know what in the world's going on here. Tony tells him, hey, don't do it. Chris Adams goes over and grabs Tony Adams. Talking to Tony, oh boy, I'm Christopher. He just pulled out a big chain. Nails Chris Adams. Tells Tony to get out of the ring over there. Grabs Frank Morales. is going to be the official winner of this grudge match. What a well of a bop between Christopher and Adam. Eight minutes and 54 seconds, your winner of the bop, Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher, your winner of the bop. Christopher, continue. <laughs> Gentlemen, Chris Adams ties Chris up in the top two ropes over there. And Christopher telling Tony Adams to give him what in the world that Tony's got in there. All right, he grabs Eliza's strap, a big leather strap, grabs it from Tony Adams. And he, oh, Christopher's telling Tony Adams to strap Chris Adams with the strap in there. Christopher just shoves Tony Adams over and tells her to strap away on Chris Adams. Hey, Tony throws the strap down and she's gone. She is out of here. There goes Tony Adams. Boy, she throws the strap down. I tells it out of here. Christopher grabs the strap and he's strapping away on gentleman Chris Adams. To getting a victory, Christopher stuck back in there, and you talk about Lord Adam. Well, as I said, the last time we saw Miss Simpson, Tony Adams, she was not totally under your control. What I just saw right there, Dave Brown, was I saw myself beating the living brains out of Chris Adams, what little brains he does have. And you know, I saw Miss Simpson, and I said, Miss Simpson, right by my side. Not Tony Adams, not Chris Adams' wife, Miss Simpson, my nanny. And now, Chris Adams, you've been running around here telling a lot of lies. Well, why don't you just come out right here and let's talk about this face-to-face, -face, huh? Why don't you bring him out here right now and let's talk about it face-to-face, -face, Chris Adams. We ain't got to wait. We ain't got to wait a week. 
because I want to beat your brains out right now. I don't think he's going to be here. As a matter of fact, I've got some videotape oh, interviews. You know, huh? if, if you he would. He ain't here, is he? He ain't here, is he? He's scared of me because he knows when he gets in there with me face to face, I'll shove this fist so far down his throat. He won't. He'll never get it at you. Understand me? Come on out here, Chris Adams. Uh, you want to fight over now? Come on. He's not coming out here. If you've said all you've got to say, maybe we can hear from Chris Adams, as a matter of fact, on this videotape right here. I don't want to. I'm in the dressing room now, gentlemen, Chris Adams. And Chris, things got a little bit hot out there again tonight, huh? Yeah, they got hot, Corey. What would you do if somebody ran away with your wife? I'd just like to let everybody out there understand that Tony Adams, Tony Adams, not Mrs. Simpson, Tony Adams and I are still married. Tony, I've been sending you money each week. I've been sending you everything I can afford, and you're spending on that little punk Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher, every time I go to sleep at night, I think of Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher, I hate you. You're a punk. You're a young punk, and you're messing around with my family. You people out there know that if someone messes around with your family and they take your wife, well, let me ask you, what would you do? What would you do, son? What would you do, sir, if someone took away your wife and you sent them money and they were spending it on Brian Christopher? Well, yes, yeah, sure. It got hot out there, Corey. Sure it did. But you know what, Brian Christopher? The only reason you're walking right now is because of your adrenaline. And adrenaline is what runs through your body. And it makes you walk like a frightened little chicken. And I'm coming after you. And I don't care where it is. I don't care if it's in Memphis. I don't care if it's in Nashville. I don't care if it's in Dallas, New York, L.A., England. Africa, I'm coming for you, Brian Christopher, so you watch out. You understand? Don't mess with a man's family. Hey, want to see how AT&T can save you more than MCI's friends and family? No, really. First, Go find your last phone bill. Trust me, it's worth it. You're not going to do it, are you? Okay. Look at this bill. See, most people call the same way, to one area code, over and over. And this is just one month. Imagine a whole year. Well, if you spend $40 a month on long distance, AT&T will give you 25% off our basic rates to that one area code you're always calling. Now, write down this number. 1-800-242-7480. It's how to get 25% off AT&T calls to any one area code you select anytime. It's free. Plus, we'll give you 15% off the rest of your calls. So, like I said, AT&T could save you more than MCI's friends and family. And you didn't believe me. Call now for 25% off where it means the most. Just another part of the eye plan. Double, double, no so refreshing. Double, double, your about Wendy's new Big Bacon Classic. Oh, yeah. Uh, just coffee. You spoil your lunch, fellas. It's a whole quarter pound of fresh beef, cheese, lots of toppings. How many? Three big strips of bacon. Introducing Wendy's Big Bacon Classic. If you've got a big appetite for big bacon cheeseburgers, this is it. But remember, come hungry. You didn't finish. Uh, I'm full. You ate breakfast, didn't you?
big red tags mean big savings and big values for you. Right now at Jolly Royal, double your comfort with a double reclining sectional. Prices start at $7.99 for this black lacquer double inclining sectional. A side-by-side -side reclining sectional by Lane with a full sleeper, only $16.99. This is the American Bedroom Group. Red tag priced at $3.99. That includes all four pieces. A cotton print sofa, $2.99. A black lacquer dining room, $3.99. It's time to shop smart. Shop Jolly Royal. An attorney answers your questions on real estate closing. Don't miss it. Monday on Wake Up Call. Well, the king is with me right here. We've been talking about a perfect night of wrestling coming up at the Mid-South Coliseum. Monday night, I was there when Mr. Perfect was here when you won that AWA title. And I've said it before on this television station, and I'll say it again. One of the most exciting nights of wrestling I've ever seen. This time, Perfect is coming back, not for an AWA title, for a unified title. That's exactly right, Dave. You know, um... Mr. Perfect ran his mouth out here. He called Jackie Fargo a hand-picked referee. But I want to refresh his memory. What Kurt Henning wanted was a hand-picked referee. If you remember, Kurt Henning wanted his father right. to referee that match. Mm -hmm. And what it boiled down to was there was a vote taken by all the fans nationwide, and Jackie Fargo was elected to referee that match. He was not a hand-picked referee. Now, I want to... If we can, I heard just a little bit of what Kurt Henning had to say, and there was something special that he said right on the end of that uh, little interview a while ago. If I could just hear one more time what Kurt Henning had to say, then I got something I want to say to Mr. Perfect. Let's do that if we can, right? Mr. Perfect's coming to Memphis this Monday for one reason, to regain, regain my pride and my own analogy of what I'm all about. See, I am what I say I am, whether you like it, or anybody else likes it. I am perfect. And you remember this, Lawler, and all your followers. Nobody beats Mr. Perfect. Nobody. And this Monday night, bring all your fans ringside. Bring them all down. Because Mr. Perfect is not going down. I raise my hand high in the middle of that ring. And you, Lawler, are going to be perfect, Plex. And you're going to find out why they call me Mr. Perfect. All right, let's see this now. He calls himself Mr. Perfect. He thinks everybody calls him Mr. Perfect. I think a better name for him, especially after Monday night, is going to be Mr. Mediocre, or maybe Mr. Pretty Good, or maybe Mr. Not So Hot. Because I'm going to tell you something, Kurt Henning. All I've heard since I've been in the World Wrestling Federation from all the wrestlers up there every week was, hey, wait till Bret Hart gets his hands on you. Every time I was anywhere around Kurt Henning, he was the number one man. He said, wait till Brett the Hitman Hart gets a hold of you, Lawler. Well, last week, Brett the Hitman Hart got a hold of me. And I let him do everything in his arsenal. I just wanted to find out how tough the Hitman really was. And believe me, he tried it all. But as you can see, the king is still here. Mr. Perfect, I want you to know, Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum, we're going to see if you really are perfect. Because I'm going to bring the Unified World Heavyweight Championship belt that you're right, I want it from you, and I know that that still sticks in your crawl. Well, let me tell you something, Kurt Henning. Monday night, we'll see if you got what it takes to take that belt back. Because I'll tell you this, I know, and I think all of these people in Memphis, Tennessee know who the king is. But we're going to see if you know and if they know whether or not you're perfect i don't think you are we'll that's all i gotta say we'll find out monday night a perfect night of wrestling at the mid-south coliseum it promises to be a big one there's more big action coming up corey will tell you about that right now thank you dave hey coming up friday night friday the 13th friday august 13th eight o'clock bell time 
Forest City, Arkansas. USWA Championship Wrestling begins in Forest City, Arkansas at the Civic Center there. Hey, also tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. in Grand Junction, Tennessee at City Park in Grand Junction. Lawler's Army will be in against the Stumpers softball team. And a double hitter softball action that's tomorrow afternoon. Also next Saturday afternoon, the King's Armor will be in Greenleaf, Mississippi. More on that one next week. Hey, don't forget, coming up Friday the 13th, Forest City, Arkansas, you got the Vampire Warrior, Hunky Tonk Man, the Moon Dogs, Bergstrom and Finrod. Also tickets on sale at Parker's Furniture. Save a dollar on advanced tickets for championship wrestling right there in Forest City, Arkansas, Friday, August 13th, Saturday, August 14th, Newport, Arkansas, National Guard Armory, Hunky Tonk Man on the card, King Cobra, Master Tara, Rock and Roll Phantom, all lined up for Newport, Arkansas, USWA Wrestling. Friday, August 20th in Huntington, Tennessee. Gonna be at the air-conditioned uh, Carroll County Civic Center in Huntington. Tickets at Trustee's Office. Also the Civic Center and E.W. James Supermarket. Sponsored by Huntington Little League. Moondog, Chef Jarrett, all of the USWA top stars in Huntington. Tuesday, August 24th, Blyville, Arkansas, Mississippi County Fair. I understand almost everything's gonna be at the Mississippi County Fair there in Blyville. You'll see BG-13, Nightmare Danny Davis, Missouri Tiger Jeff Gaylord, all lined up for Blyville, Arkansas. Thursday, August 26th, Sinatobia, Mississippi, Northwest Community College, USWA top stars in Sinatobia. You can save it all on advanced tickets for championship wrestling there in Sinatobia. And Saturday night, August 28th, Jonesboro, Arkansas, Earl Bell Community Center, right there on Church Street, USWA championship wrestling, right there in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And coming up Monday night, a perfect night of wrestling. We've got more USW action coming up right here. Stay with us. Morning, Joe. Good morning, Mrs. Jenks. Got a Western Union here for Mr. Jenks. Hope it's good news. Oh, it is. It's that dollar a week life insurance for veterans that Tom and I called about. Dollar a week life insurance? Uh huh. It's a real good deal. And because Tom was in the service, I can get coverage, too, for just a dollar a week. You know, I could use some extra insurance. Well, you were in the service, weren't you, Joe? Well, yeah, but it was stateside. Army reserves. Doesn't matter. It says here, wartime, peacetime, active, or reserves. All branches of service. Great. What do I do? Make a phone call? Sure. Let me write down the number. And if you're a veteran, age 45 to 75, or the spouse of a veteran, you'll want to write down this number, too because now you can get in on a dollar a week term life insurance plan for veterans. It's a great value for both veterans and spouses. Just one dollar a week gets you the coverage you need at a price you can afford. And your benefits, well, they never go down, that's guaranteed. Plus, there's no medical exam to take, and there's no waiting period. Once you're covered, it's from the very first day for the full amount. Just call this toll-free number. Free information will be rushed to you by Western Union. You'll also get free membership in Veterans Vision Care, an eye care plan that saves you money. And once you're covered, you'll get a free subscription to Veterans Update, a newsletter filled with VA news, benefit updates, and more. A dollar a week. It's one of the best ways going to give your family the extra security you want them to have. Call now. Here, Joe. I'm going to call as soon as I get a chance. Use our phone. Call them now. Veterans and spouses ages 45 to 75, call 1-800-548-9600. Veterans Life Insurance Company will send you a free information package immediately. There's absolutely no cost or obligation. Call 1-800-548-9600. Operators are standing by to take your call. That number again is 1-800-548-9600. Call now. J.C. Ice and Wolfie D, PG-13 are here, so they got lots of things on their mind. Look, Dave Brown, you know what? Me and Wolfie D been doing a lot of thinking, man. People want to say that PG-13 is too little. We too little. Look, Dave Brown, we turned on the TV the other day, and we're going to watch a little wrestling. And we look on the WWS, and you want to talk about little. They got a guy so little, he can hula hoop through a Cheerio. He's so little, man. We are talking. Uh, hey, 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 you watch me. We are talking about. What? What's his name? Four or five. What's his name? Four, five, six kids. Some Something eleven like dude or some dude. He ain't even got a name, Dave. Right? His parents named him after numbers, man. All right. Let me tell you something. I watched him, man. He wrestles Razor Ramon. He gets the one, two, three. Obviously, Razor Ramon was drunk or something, Dave. Right? Look, look, check this out. Check this out. 
We check it out again. He's on there with Damien Demento, big old dude, big right? Dude. He had to have been drunk, too, because he beat him, man. Again. <laughs> again. I'm tripping. I, we was tripping. But we then, know. to top it all off, the million-dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Now, we know him, and he don't drink. So we can't figure out how Stick Boy is doing what he's doing. We don't understand it. You know, if he was here today, if he was around, if, if he, anybody would give J.C. Ice and Wolfie D the chance, we could beat Stick Boy, and if we beat Stick Boy, we'd prove we could beat Ted sure. DiBiase, Damien Demento, Razor Ramon, which proves we would be better, which makes us the work. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Is that who you're calling Stick Man right here? Yeah, that's Stick Man. That's the man who, who's doing this. Well, that's him. well, ladies and gentlemen, oh, say hello to the... Not four, five, the one, two, three, kid. And kid, have you heard what these guys are saying here? Yeah. You know, I've been sitting back there. I heard both you guys talking. Hey, and you know, that's cool. I understand you guys got your own opinions. I'm a small guy. You guys are small guys. I went to the WWF. This is all I did. I went to the WWF. I said, hey, I said, all I want is a chance. I think I can prove myself, and I think I have proved myself. Either one of you guys would like to prove yourself in the ring with me. The office stands right now. Oh, well, there's, okay. hey, so he, that's the way. Of us. Uh, that's what he either said. One of us. I tell you what, pal, you want either one of us? Get him, Wolf. Get him, get him, Wolf. Get him. Well, Wolfie D being sent into the ring by J.C. Ice. There he goes. Get in the ring. Oh, hey, well, oh, well, now, wait a minute. Oh, I yeah. says, wait a minute. Let me change my mind. I think I can take him. I'm going to go in there, he says. Yep. All right, there they go. Oh. PG-13, and J.C. Ice jumps into the ring. Oh. One, two, three, kid. Dumps him over his back. Here comes the referee. Just... Boy, we got ourselves an extra match here today on USWA Wrestling. Yeah, what we need says it's not supposed to happen. Up, oh, he raked him across the eyes. Oh, yeah. J.C. Ice got him in the eyes. One, oh. two, three, kid. And J.C. Ice. Boy, one, two, three, whips him into the road. Back shot from the kid, and J.C. lands on his feet. Oh, oh boy, big kick from one, two, three, kid. J.C. Ice is on the floor now. He's around. Time out, he says. I tell you what, pal, pick on somebody your own. Wolfie D says, hey, I'm a little taller. Pick on me. He steps into the ring, and one, two, three, kid goes after him. Yeah, he takes that Wolfie off. Big Foot from Wolfie D slows down a one, two, three, kid. You see, we want us to prove, we're going to prove to everybody that we are the greatest. Wolfie D says, who's bad now? One, two, three, kid. Now back up on his feet on the rope. One, two, three, comes off and under. Ah! Comes across the top of the head of Wolfie D. Another kick from one, two, three, kid. Goes both of them now. Watch that double team to one, two, three, kid. They tackle kid and take him now. Oh boy. JCI tackled him, got him off his feet. Now they're both put the boots to him. PG 13 on the one, two, three, kid. Here comes a fabulous one. Jump Jared out to help the kid out. And PG 13 takes off and out of here. PG 13 decides they're not quite as tough as they thought they were. They had to go two against one against the one, two, three kid. They pointed out that he's got quite a record. And after watching him here in action, I think you can understand why. One, two, three kid with a word of thanks for Jeff Jarrett for getting there to even it up. And PG 13 is gone, but Richard Lee is right here. Dave Brown, I'm getting ready to give a sermon. And the sermon's coming from the top of the mountain, brother. And the mountain's called Moondog Mountain. And Black and Cujo are the kings of the mountain, brother. And I'm going to tell you something about jealousy and friendship. There was a lot of people, Bert Prentice, you and a few other people in your fat brigade, brother, that wanted to go out and start spreading a bunch of lies about Richard Lee, about Cujo, and about Spike. You wanted to go out and you wanted to tell everybody how Richard Lee was screwed. Richard Lee would never come back to the USWA. You wanted to go out and tell people that Spike and Cujo were screwed. Spike and Cujo would never be back in the USWA. Well, Bert Prentice, 
I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell the rest of your fat brigade, brother, if anybody wants to come along and get up in my face, if anybody wants to come along and get up in Spongebob Tujo's face, that's fine, brother, because we're waiting for you. Because I've been managing Spongebob Tujo for about eight years, and today is the first day that I've ever, ever had to help them out of the ring. They were always, even with concussions, even with cuts, they were always able to walk out. Well, Bert Prentice, bring your dog catchers on, boys. Because I'm going to tell you something. It's not going to be hard for you to catch my dog. But when you catch them, you've got to hold on to them. And come hell or high water, Bert Prentice, come hell or high water, brother, this week, I might be camped out on your doorstep. You better walk wide around corners, and you better keep looking over your back. Because Spike and Cucho are going to get a hold of your dog catchers, brother. And when they get through biting them, I'm going to kick your butt, boy. Richard Lee, mighty upset and understandably so, jumped by Burt Prentice and his dog catchers earlier today. Prentice out here right now with the vampire warrior. And, and run from me. Did you just see Richard Lee run from me? He's scared. I've killed the moon dogs, and now Richard Lee's running scared. I didn't see him running from you. I saw him leaving. Very wise man, I think. Doesn't, doesn't want to stay out here and get in between Burt Prentice, the dog catchers, C.W. Bergstrom, and the vampire warrior. As I count it, that's about five against one, and those are not good odds anywhere. The heavyweight champion, the southern heavyweight champion, the vampire warrior, is in the ring right now. Yeah, he's in there with Kip Mars and Mars. Hey, look at Kip Mars with a good move in, vampire warrior. Just kind of reverses that move and takes Mars down. Mars started off pretty good in there, but it didn't last. What a great day in the USWA today, Corey McNamara. Come on, Prentice. Vampire Warrior throws Kip Morris out and onto the floor. And I'm going to introduce Kip Morris to one of my family members. Yeah. Sure you are. It calls over C.W. Bergstrom. Yeah, inviting Bergstrom to take a shot at him down here on the floor. Yeah, Bergstrom unloads on Kip Morris, and Prentice kind of helps him back in there to stand up against this vampire warrior. Warrior swings out to Morris, misses. Oh, boy. What a move from this vampire warrior. This guy has some strength, too, in there. What did Prentice say? Greatest Southern heavyweight champion ever? Yeah. I don't know about that. Oh, he's, he's tough. Yeah. He also stole the belt. That's how he got his hands on it in the beginning. What do you want now, Prentice? Jeff Jarrett, I hope you're watching this, because this is you in the blue trunk. That's not Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Kip Mars into the ring with the Vampire Warrior, and Mars just trying to hold his own. Warrior throws him out of the ring again onto the floor. And Prentice says he's introducing Kip Moore to another one of his family members. One of the dog catchers just hauled off and went to work on Mars on that. They're not tag team champions, at least not around here. Burt Prentice declaring the dog catchers tag team champions. He may be looking ahead, but he's looking way ahead if he thinks it's going to be an easy task for those guys to take the tag team belts off the Moon Dogs, especially given the frame of mind that Richard Lee and the Moon Dogs are in right now. Yeah, they had the Moon Dogs down, but boy, I guarantee you they're not out. Vampire Warrior takes Morris off the middle rope with a DDT. One, two, three. That's going to do it for the Vampire Warrior. And boy, it does it for Kip Morris, too, as Vampire Warrior gets the win. Service makes all the difference in automobile insurance. Service comes first, and service is our first name. 
We offer same-day coverage, budget payment plans, and fast claim service. Whether you need to update your policy or just ask questions, our friendly representatives are ready to serve you. With Service First, you get a complete menu of coverages and deductibles that can be tailor-made to your needs and lifestyle. Just call toll-free 1-800-741-4141. Service First is the automobile insurance for you. For insurance that's easy to get, easy to keep, with low monthly payments. Service First's A-rated coverage offers a variety of discounts in this most easy way to stay insured. Call 1-800-741-4141. That's 1-800-741-4141. The big news today, automatic savings as Guatney 2 Hyundai celebrates its first anniversary. Save on new four-door excels with automatic and air, stereo cassette and more, just $89.88. New Elantras with automatic air and stereo cassette, just $99.88. Luxurious new full-size four-door Sonatas with automatic and air, six-speaker stereo cassette, tilt wheel and more, just $11.988. See our ad in Saturday's paper. There's truly something for everyone at Guatney 2 Chevrolet Hyundai. Airways in Winchester at the airport. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, hug a little longer, stay close a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness that's right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. Fog it, chew it, say goodbye a little longer, make it last a little longer. Give your breath more lasting freshness. I think you talked uh, a little bit earlier about uh, big softball action coming up here. Yeah. This is a big thing every year with the Stompers, and, and is, is there video of this? Is, am I correct? If so, let's take a look at it right now. Hi, we're the Stompers. Tomorrow afternoon in Grand Junction, Tennessee at the City Park, we'll be taking on Lawler's Army. I know he's been on a big yeah. winning streak, but after this year, it's coming to a hole, buddy. Yeah. We're going to whoop you two in a row. Yeah. So you better bring your stuff with you, because we intend to wear you out, buddy. Well, there's the word right there from the Stompers. This <laughs> yeah. has become an annual event. It is a big time, and uh, it's uh, it's coming up. I think you maybe do you still have some details on uh, uh, all yeah, the action coming be up? A big double hitter tomorrow, two o'clock, right there in Grand Junction, Tennessee, at City Park tomorrow. And yeah, the challenge has been issued yeah. to, uh, to the <laughs> Kings of Memphis of Jerry Lawler. Let's uh, take a look. Oh, before we get to uh, Monday night action at the uh, Mid South Coliseum, quick reminder. Uh, I think we just touched on it a little bit earlier. Harrisburg, Arkansas. There will be USWA wrestling action yeah. there on Thursday, August 19th at the Armory. Box office will be open at noon on Thursday the 19th. Uh, fabulous one will be there. Moondogs, Brian Christopher, Harrisburg, Arkansas, Thursday, August 19th. Coming up, Monday night. Ah, perfect night of wrestling. August 9th is the night. night too, yeah. Perfect night it is indeed. Opening match that night. Scott Taylor will be going against the Master of Terror. Middleweight title on the line is Danny Davis goes against J.C. Ice. Then you got a loser leave town. No time limit. No disqualification. Oh, a student Melvin Penrod right here today said, I'm not going to take this anymore. It wasn't my fault that we lost the tag titles. I'm not putting up with it. So... Bert Prentice says you're fired. You're not a member of the team anymore. Tried to get Eddie Marlin to fire Melvin Penrod and tell him he couldn't mm -hmm. wrestle in the USWA. Eddie says he got a better idea. Both Penrod and Bergstrom say the USWA is not big enough for the both of them. All right, one of them can leave. We'll have a match Monday night on the perfect night of wrestling to find out who stays and who goes. USWA tag titles will be on the line then. Moondogs with Richard Lee. They've got the belts. The Dog Catchers. Rugged-looking team brought in here by Burt Prentice. They brought the net. They netted the Moon Dogs, and they left. But it could be a totally different situation if the Moon Dogs know they're coming, and that will be the case Monday night at the Mid South Coliseum. The feature attraction between One Two Three Kid against Wolfie D. Now today, One Two Three Kid gave uh, J.C. Ice and Wolfie D. the opportunity right here to prove how tough they were. They ended up trying to double team and ran out of here. This is going to be one against one. Wolfie D against the one, two, three kid at the perfect night of wrestling. Big grudge match then. Brian Christopher with Miss Simpson in the corner. Chris Adams with Tony Adams in the corner. Which will it be? Brian Christopher said, don't worry about it. It's going to be Miss Simpson. No doubt about it. She'll be in my corner for the grudge match Monday night. The Vampire Warrior, Luna Vachon, will be his partner. They'll go against... The fabulous one, Jeff Jarrett, and his partner will be Miss 
Texas. But a perfect wrap-up to a perfect night of wrestling. Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, will be at the Mid-South Coliseum. This time, he'll be trying to take the unified title from the king, Jerry Lawler. Perfect night of wrestling, coming up Monday night. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper to bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and duct repair, Dennis Hall's guaranteed the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Chris. Real deal coffee for the best prices in town. Come on down. If you haven't seen Adventure River this summer, you haven't seen Adventure River. Ride it, slide it, try it. The all-new Tidal Wave. 300 feet of twisting, winding screams. Come meet our new mascot. The kids just love him. And gets in. Kids price reduced to only $9.99. Adventure River. Adventure River. Adventure River. Adventure River. We're making a This family has consumed all but one slice of a medium pan pizza, widely regarded as America's favorite. Dad sees no offense in taking the last piece. Other family members see it differently. He's gonna hog the last piece. And Image Pizza Hut helps you avoid by offering any large pizza for the price of a medium, with 50% more pizza to go around. Who knows, there might even be some leftovers for a perfect late night snack. Continued today outside In a world of five or fifty or even five hundred channels, there's still only one channel with the talk shows people are talking about. Only one channel where you can answer life's questions on Jeopardy. Only one channel where you can take a spin on Wheel of Fortune. That channel is WMC TV 5, the Mid South's news leader. Wow, what a day here. Yeah. USWA action here today, and what a night coming up. This perfect night, Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Great crowd last oh, week yeah, at the Coliseum. Crowd. Terrific. Thank you very great much. And then, get ready for this one. As Mr. Perfect comes back, last time he was here, he lost the title sure to the is. king, Jerry Lawler. This time around, he's, gonna, he's coming in in the role of a challenger, trying to win the unified title from the king, Jerry Lawler. Lawler says, I'm going to make sure that he doesn't do it. A lot of people have tried. A lot of people have been turned away by the King at the Mid-South Coliseum. What will happen Monday night? The perfect night of wrestling? We'll find out beginning at 7.30. Today, well, we had Brian Christopher. I didn't, Ms. Simpson wasn't here, but Brian assures us everything is under control and he, she will be in his corner come Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. That remains to be seen. And of course, your team Jeff Jarrett and Miss Texas, you got the makings of quite a match coming up too. Ah, huh? oh, yeah, Lona Vashon and the Vampire Warrior, the team from the dark side. Absolutely. More coming up next week right here. We hope you'll join us. Until then, for Corey Macklin, I'm Dave Brown. So long, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling. Riviera Spa's 20th anniversary celebration. Go. This year has meant a lot of changes for our two families. Oh, yes. New home.